Hello, my name is Ross, and I'm here today to talk to you about my 6x8 Harbor Freight Tool Greenhouse and the hydroponic system I have set up inside. So far, I'm pretty happy with the uh, greenhouse. It's been fairly sturdy. Um, I had to lock tight all the nuts. And now I'll take you inside and show you my drip system that I've come up with. Here I built the stand, which is drip fed. I got my thermostat up there, which I will be hooking up to a blower fan to go on when the temperature exceeds 90 degrees. Here is my system right now. I got some cauliflower and uh, it's all fed in that bin there. Right now it's um, early December and we're in Florida and the greenhouse is staying at around 86 degrees. It gets up around 95 when the sun's out. Um, I uh, have developed these buckets here pardon the mess uh, I'm just getting it set up a little each day I have the buckets where it's double buckets uh, the bucket that the plant is inside has um, slots cut out in the bottom of the bucket so it drains into that second bu uh, catch bucket and then it drains into a PVC pipe you can see there and then it runs down around that way into my catch basin which is aerated it's a 20 gallon catch basin it's aerated And then over on this side, I uh, pick some smaller and cheaper buckets on the same system that is on the other side for growing things such as peppers that don't need as big of a root brace as tomatoes and uh, melons and things. As you can see, I have it going down into another pipe. That runs along and it also into the catch basin. Now if you see, yesterday I installed a vinyl gutter and I filled it with coconut um, shavings from the outside of a coconut husk. I uh, In here I have planted all my green onions which I just finished setting up and it's been watering and here's how I got it that kept clogging from the fine powder so I I inserted some screening to help keep that clear and keep the drains from clogging I have plans to install another vinyl gutter above this which will drain down into that drain sticking up there I will show you now these are all set up on a drip system I found that a drip system it's a uh, more efficient and not as many um, problems with my pH going off because it, and I can use 20 gallons of a uh, nutrient solution for all these plants on the drip system if I were to have an ebb and flow I would need a drip system that was 60 or 70 gallons I'll take you outside and show you my ebb and flow system here
This was planted about uh, five weeks ago. I it feeds in a four inch pipe with uh, plastic uh, Dixie cups. I have uh, tomatoes, a lettuce that's I'm allowing to go to seed, green onion, some asparagus. Uh, basil's been doing very well. And remember, this is early December right now. And this is my second crop that was planted about five weeks ago. Turns the corner here. Here are my tomatoes that are all flowering. Some little cherry tomatoes are coming up now. There's one that's nice and red. Let's see how that tastes. Not bad. So these are my tomatoes. And all this floods. And then goes in there. And drains back into two five gallon buckets. If you can see here, the buckets are connected via this tube. And that bucket there is aerated. I have all these on a timer including the ones in the greenhouse. This one ebb and flows every two and a half hours and it slowly drains down this quarter inch drip irrigation line. It takes about half hour for it to drain out, maybe 45 minutes back into the container. And then it's off for two and a half hours and then it will start the process again. There's my timer. Here's a look from the other side. There's my greenhouse. I also have some rabbits. These are also on automatic waterers that fills them with fresh water six times in a 24 hour period. And here's my chickens. As you can see here. No eggs today. Actually, I grabbed one this morning. Okay, I'll be updating this every so often to let you know my progress and any uh, problem solving techniques I've <laughs> come up with over any um over the course of time. Thank you.